I'm going to show you how to assign a macro to a button on the toolbar and also to create your own toolbar. So what I mean by that is there are a bunch of buttons up here and I'm going to show you how to create your own and assign that to a macro. So if you don't want to use a shortcut or if you think you might forget the shortcut, this is a great uh, way to have your macros easily accessible. So what you do is after you already have your macros in your workbook, so after you've already put the VBA code in or recorded it and it works, go up to the tools menu, then go to where it says customize, and the customize box will pop up. So make sure you are on the command tab. First I'm just going to show you how to make the button. So in order to make the the button, go to the command tab, scroll down, find where it says macros, click that. Then you can choose to either make a custom menu item or a custom button. I'm just going to talk to you about doing the custom button today. So what you do is click it once and you can get a description if you want but it's just a button you assign a macro to. So click it and then drag it to the toolbar and it's going to be on the toolbar. So it's right there outlined in black. Now in order to modify the button you need to stay on this screen. You can't close it. So just make sure you click the button once so it's outlined in black then click modify selection and when you do that you're going to get a bunch of different options. So one thing you can do is you can actually change the the image for the icon. So let me make this viewable. Modify selection and you can reset the button's image or you can change the button's image. So you have a bunch of different selections here that you can choose from. So say you want to make it a trash can. Go ahead and click that. And then the icon has become a trash can. Now another neat thing you can do with that is you can actually edit the image. So once you've chosen an image you think might work, go ahead and click the edit button image. This screen will pop up and it's going to allow you to edit how the icon looks. So if you want to erase some stuff, maybe I'll make it like some open bucket thing. Anyway, the point is you can edit how it looks here and uh, change it. Then click OK and the icon's going to look like that. So now it kind of looks like a uh, lighter colored trash can. Now in order to assign the macro, you either click modify selection and go all the way down to the bottom. You can't see it here, but go to the bottom where it says assign macro and the window with all of your macros in the workbook is going to pop up. So go ahead and select one and then click OK. Then the macro is going to be assigned to that button. The other way to do it is close this window and my button's up here. So if I click it once, it's going to let me assign a macro to it. So I'm going to click protect all, OK, and now this button has the macro that will protect my worksheets assigned to it. So I can type now, but if I click this, I'm not going to be able to type. Now how you add a toolbar is very similar. So go to Tools, Customize, but go to the Toolbar screen. Once on the Toolbar screen, go to New, and then type in the name. So I'm going to name my toolbar Protect Worksheets. Click OK. Then this little box pops up when I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and move it to the toolbar. And there it is on the right side, and it's empty. So now I want to add some buttons to it. So I'm going to go ahead and create a button, just like we did a second ago. Go down to where it says Macros custom button, 
and I'm going to drag that to the toolbar. And I'm going to put another button in there. Then I'm going to go ahead and modify them. So I will make this one an unhappy face. And I'm also going to give it a name. So right here is the name, where it says name. I'm going to call that one Protect Worksheet. Then I'm going to click the other button and name it Unprotect Worksheet. Click Close. And here I have my own toolbar. I can move it around and everything. And I have two buttons. I keep the mouse over it. Protect Worksheet and Unprotect Worksheet. So Unprotect. Now I have to assign the macro. Unprotect. OK. And then Protect All. OK. And these macros protect the worksheets and they unprotect all of the worksheets. So if I unprotect like this, now I can type and do whatever I want in the worksheets. And here they're protected. So that's how you can assign buttons to the macros and also create your very own toolbar with whatever kind of icon you'd like in it.